Good morning. It is 22 minutes after 9 o'clock and joining us on the phone this morning from Eastern New Mexico University, Roswell, Donna Oracion back with us. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Mike. How are you doing today? Oh, doing okay. How about yourself? Doing well. You uh, all ready for the, for the Christmas break? Well, I, I think so. We're all ready for a little bit of a break anyway. Good deal. Yeah, because... <laughs> Well, right now the the students, everything that's all done is just probably staff yes. and admin buttoning up things right now for the for the right. end of the year here, I guess, end of the semester. Yeah, exactly. We had our our commencement ceremonies December 9th in our performing arts center, so that was uh, the last event for our students and our faculty. Okay. So uh, they all flew the coop, you know, and so the rest of us, administrative and and staff um, employees, are are on campus um, through. This Thursday at 5.30, and then after that, the campus will be uh, closed for uh, the winter break. Okay, so if, if, then, so if folks have, like, if they want to register for class and stuff, can they do that through Thursday, or is it, is yeah. that, okay. Right, they can, uh, they can see somebody in person, talk to somebody, um, you know, in our student services center or whatever else they might need oh, cool. through Thursday. Um, so if they still would like to get, you know, an advisor appointment, things like that, we're still open for business for that. And then um, after that, though, everything will be closed. So the campus will reopen on on January 3rd, that Monday. Okay. So, so uh, probably a good suggestion. If you've been thinking about starting, uh, starting uh, your either college career or taking a few classes for the spring semester and you're not registered with the college yet, maybe today or tomorrow – would be a good day, or certainly uh, no later than Thursday, uh, get down to the campus and at least get that part done where you're registered. And, and it doesn't take very long. And then if you want, you can uh, use the break to register online for your classes or stuff, or go ahead and sign up for classes for that for next semester right. right right while you're there at the campus too. Right. You can do both. You can either apply online or if you just want to start the, the process right from scratch, you can go to our Student Services Center and walk in and say, I need to apply for admission, and then uh, meet with an advisor, um, register for classes, or like you said, if you want to just get all of your paperwork in order, get your student ID issued, things like that, and then you can go online uh, during the break and, and look at the class schedule and things like that. So yeah. we either try to give students as many options as possible, and then, of course, classes start January 18th, so there still is some time, of course, in, in early January to, sure. to do all that. Um, yeah. but, you know, most of the a lot of the classes... Um, some of them close, you know, or, or things like that, or maybe it is not the convenient time for you. So, you know, the sooner you register, the the, the better your class schedule that will fit your schedule. Absolutely. Um, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what yeah. uh, the, especially for folks, it's first time and all that. Um, once, once uh, the campus is back open here in, uh, in January, it's going to be fast and furious people getting ready for the spring semester. So to, to ease some of that stress, Go ahead and get some of that done now while nobody's thinking about it. They're all thinking about Christmas. You get the right. you you get the worm as the early bird here, and then you've got signed up. You're good to go, and then you focus on your holidays. And then when when the camp is back in session, you can worry about getting your books and making sure you need to be where you need to be for first day of class, and worry about that stuff, and not oh, am I can I still get in the class or can I you know you know do whatever any changes or additions right. to that schedule. You're you're set up and ready to go. So, you know, think about it if you can. I know it's not possible for everybody, but if you got that opportunity, right. take advantage of these ne next couple of days. It's a, a sweet spot to get in there and, and talk to staff and have a little bit of, if you want, you know, to t especially if you want to talk to advisors about career paths and, and college paths and, and programs and things, this is a good time to sit down and really just kind of, you know, pick their brain on that stuff. Right, and, and a lot of people just feel more comfortable talking to somebody face-to-face -face as opposed to, um, going online and kind of not, you know, taking your chances, not really sure what you're, what you're getting into. It just kind of helps to ease your, your comfort and stress level if you want to speak to somebody in person. And, and so far our, our enrollment's up for spring 27% over last year. So we're, awesome. we're looking really good. So we're, we're enrolling lots of students right now. So um, you won't be alone. You'll have a lot of company on campus in the spring. And good. again, we have students of all ages, of all, um, all interests, that sort of thing. So uh, you're definitely will be amongst friends and, and have a lot of support once you're on campus. Absolutely. That's a, it's definitely, so really it's, and to be honest, I think 
the world we live in, especially now more than ever, um, you know, pursuing education, making sure you are bettering yourself, um, it's a good time to be thinking about that kind of stuff. There's a lot of change in the world right now, uh, even uncertainty in some aspects. And, um, you know, bettering yourself by getting yourself that education, getting the credentials, getting um, that background and experience uh, that you can get at, at Eastern New Mexico University Roswell. Um, in a world of uncertainty, sometimes going in there and doing these kind of things is the way to to really uh, better yourself and, and, and provide a better foundation for whatever happens in the future here. Right. And, you know, as we said, investing in yourself is, is always a good investment. And, you know, we have New Year's resolutions and things like that. But, um, again, your education is something that, you know, nobody can take away from you. And as you said, just preparing yourself for, for whatever comes. And um, it's, it's just a good, good thing to uh, you know, prepare for whatever lies ahead. And investing in yourself is, is always a, a good investment and um, will reap rewards down the road. So um, it's always kind of scary and it's uh you know in a world that we can't control a lot of things you can control what your future will be and what your um outlook and career path will be and that's something you can control but you often need education as you said credentials to, to make that happen so Absolutely. um employ- employers are always looking for any little bit of additional education you know beyond high school uh, diploma so um even a, a year certificate or you know year and a half certificate will put you a step ahead of other uh, applicants when it comes to job reviews and sure. um, that sort of thing. So um, we really just, you know, want to be there for the community and for our students, um, potential students as well, that uh, just want to better themselves. Absolutely. And then, and, and, and of course, um, if you're going into, uh, you know, a lot of the programs uh, there at, at Eastern New Mexico University Roswell, like a, for instance, you go into you know nursing obviously or the automotive or welding and things like that those career those career fields uh, it's uh, you're almost guaranteed job placement right as soon as upon completion of those courses at Eastern New Mexico University Roswell with the um, you know obviously we've talked a bunch on the nursing program and how how uh, well respected it is across the state and things but uh, it, it that brings with it entities saying, Hey, you got any graduates? Let's, uh, let's talk to them and let's get, so, um, getting your foot in the door and landing that first job is so much easier too, especially with certain fields like nursing or the automotive program or welding or any of these, um, or CDLs going for your CDLs. I mean, as soon as you get those completions, you're, you're, you're put to work because you're in demand. So, um, take advantage of that. Yeah. Right, and, uh, you know, our occupational therapy program, they're accepting applications right now, respiratory therapy, um, a lot of the health programs. Some of them require applications, some of them do not. Um, but, again, that, that's what you um, can, can do is speak with an advisor and, and know which programs require um, an application and some that you just enroll straight in. You know, as you said, all the, the technical fields, um, HVAC is, is, of course, very popular. Mm-hmm. It's a great program as well. Always always in demand, welding, auto, mm-hmm. CDL, as you mentioned. So um, just a quite a variety of things that uh, you can take advantage of. Absolutely. And then, of course, the, the uniqueness that of, of, of this college campus being at the, you know, at the Air Center right there, uh, the whole the, the flying and aviation side with mechanics to pilots and everything else, that's a unique thing that's a lot of uh, colleges um, don't offer or have available to them, and we've got it right here in our own backyard. So, you know, if right. you're into that stuff, it it literally is a hop, skip, and a jump it away for you. <laughs> exactly. So there's it's all it's all positive. It's all win win. So absolutely. And then we mentioned before, you know, don't let finances stop you. We've got numerous um, financial aid support that you can take advantage of. Right now, we have a lot of scholarships that are available for mm-hmm. 2022 that some of them have no applications right at the moment. Oh, wow. So they're all listed on our website as well. So uh, take advantage of those, those scholarship opportunities. You know, even $200, $500, um, you add it up, some students get multiple scholarships sure. to, uh, to add to their, their pot in addition to the, the federal aid, mm-hmm. the Pell Grant, things like that. And then we have work study on campus. We have a lot of students that that have uh, jobs on campus and it adds to their, their uh, take home 
pay as well. And uh, yeah. there's just, there's just so much. So don't let finances or you think you can't afford it stop you from, from registering or, or prevent you from uh, taking advantage of, of the program. We offer. Absolutely. Yeah. I think once you register with the college and register for classes, the next thing you need to do is go talk to the financial aid office Go get your FAFSA form filled out because that's kind of your entry into the world of, of uh, scholarships and things like that. It's a form to base, you know, your taxes and all that. But once you get that form filled out, uh, then the world's your oyster as far as applying for scholarships and things. And then, of course, the, the financial aid office can, and can help you navigate you, finding you the right scholarships and, and, and some of those ones that, that Donna's talking about that, you know, there hasn't even been a- applicants yet. You know, they'll, they'll turn you on to those and, and, uh, who knows next thing you know, you, you went from a little cost or no cost for your college because, uh, scholarships and grants covered a lot of it. And you didn't think you'd qualify, but that's where those experts know, they know that's what they do for a living is go and help people do this stuff. Um, and so let them, let them work for you. <laughs> right. So, you know, there's, there's really no, no excuses. I know everybody likes to find reasons not to do something. So. Yeah. <laughs> We try and can knock all those ob- obstacles out for you. So uh, Absolutely. again, really, we're really uh, excited to uh, take a little break, but ready for um, to gear up again for the spring semester. And and of course, um, we are still having classes um, in person. We're still doing a combination of on campus and online classes. Mm-hmm. Um, we do have a the mask requirement while you're on campus and in classes. But um, you know, again, we're we're trying to be as normal as, as possible sure. with the uh, situation we're in. We're always monitoring um, you know, the current public health mandate, things like that. So we really, really are vigilant about keeping our, our students and staff uh, healthy and safe while they're on campus. Yep, exactly. So. Yeah. Everything's open and happening, but um, expect to uh, basically adhere to uh, what the New Mexico Department of Health, their, their uh, I don't know if the restrictions are, or what their requirements are right now. You, you guys pretty much stick to what, what the NMDOH is telling you how to run business right now. Yes, yes. And, you know, we've had some vaccination clinics on campus. We had one last week, and we'll probably do another one, you know, uh, after classes begin. Okay. Just to, just to make it convenient for anybody that, that would like to uh, to get a vac- vaccine as well. So um, it's uh lot of opportunities and then of course we'll have some other events coming up um in the spring that we'll be talking to you about things like that so okay. hey just out of curiosity i know it's not the season but um uh, are they talking about maybe being able to open the pool for the summer this year or is that still on hiatus um no we do plan to open the pool okay cool. for sure good deal uh, so uh, we're we're looking we've already been in discussions about that so we um we're planning on it we have to have a you know, of course, uh, an, in, an inspection and, sure. and do all the, the proper things we need to do. To sure, get it up to get it up to passing it, inspections. Get it up yeah. to uh, parts, and it's been covered for for a while, so it really needs a um, an inspection uh, and all of the things. I'm we need sure to there's do some to work, it. yeah, some maintenance on that. Yeah, thing. some yeah. work, some maintenance work that we need to do. So we'll be uh, we'll be doing that, um, you know, hiring lifeguards and. Well, good. That's and, good uh, news. Hoping to have a big. Kind of a big grand opening, or grand reopening of our pool. Okay. So, cool. Well, I'm sure folks yeah. will be anxious and ready to go back and uh, hit the pool and book their yeah. uh, parties and things uh, like they used to in the past there. So. Exactly. Yeah. Hard, hard to think about swimming right now when it's, you know, like yeah, no one's, it's not it's, 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 but. <laughs> yeah, unless you will go over to the rec center indoors, you're probably not having a lot right. of swimming opportunities <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> not right now, not just yet. But, but I was just curious if they, that was in the works for maybe trying to make yeah. that happen this summer. So I'm glad to hear <laughs> that, barring any craziness, that that's going to happen. It looks like exactly. So Very no, cool. we're that's one thing that we are looking forward to as well. So Very good. We'll, we'll be coming to you with more information about all of that. Yeah, as we get closer, we'll we'll start wetting people's beaks about that one. So yes. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. But again, uh, again, come on by the campus. The The campus will be open for, you know, classes, signing up and all that through Thursday this week. And then we'll be closed for the Christmas holiday. What What is the date that the campus reopens for, for uh, I know classes start the 18th, but what, t- what does the actual campus open where you can come back and start signing up for classes and stuff again? Right. So we, we reopen on the 3rd. The 3rd. On January. So Ben, beginning January third, if you don't if you don't have a chance to make it out today, tomorrow, or Thursday, 
head on out there uh, beginning of the 3rd. And, of course, roswell.nmu.edu. You can go there and sign up for classes. Can you can you do the whole application process online, or can you just start it there yeah. and then finish it up at the at the campus? You can do it all online. You can just uh, go to our admissions page, um, and you have, there's also a just an apply now tab okay. right on the top page. And then um, there's a um, when you go to the admissions login, if you're a first time user, there's there's a little um, button that says create an account. Okay, and so click on that, and you put in your name and all of that information, and then um, gets you right in. So, hey. and a lot of people are familiar with that with all the online shopping. Everybody knows how to. Yeah, <laughs> you can manage that one. Create accounts and things like that. So yeah. there is that. But if you again, if you'd rather do it in person you can do that through thursday or when we're back open on january 3rd yeah i you know i i personally get online and start maybe the process thing and then then you're going to run into things you have questions and then when you're there at that point go and sit down and talk with an advisor and then you can finish that application and of course get those application process done but um you know at least familiar yourself with the website before you make it a, or before you go down and make an appointment or go visit so yes exactly that'd be my recommendation so <laughs> Well, you're, you know, you're our, you're our uh, ambassador and our, our uh, recruiter in, in training, but you're, ah, you're great. Oh. I need a lot of training because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, no, I, I, I'll, I'll commit faux pas pretty easily. So. Okay. <laughs> no, you, you do a great job. Well, thank you. Uh, is there anything we missed, by the way? Did we get, is there, is there uh, anything else we want no, to mention? No, we just. Just thank everybody for their support over the year. We had a great foundation banquet last last Tuesday on Good campus, deal. and we appreciate all of our supporters of the foundation, all the businesses that support us throughout the year, and, and the community support. We really appreciate it. People being patient with us and and uh, coming out to the campus. And again, we're we're trying to be as, as open as we can right now. Your you know, people are welcome to come. Um, walk around for tours. We're an open campus. We're not closed. You can come by any time yeah. uh, and uh, it, talk to our, our uh, staff in our student services center. You know, we have 24-hour security, so we wandering around. Um, we're going to be doing some um, construction projects that are ongoing. We have our auto welding program. That, That'll be nice uh, when that's done. Be nice. That, that finish is coming along nicely. Our, our new physical plant building is open. So all of our um, physical plant staff is in the new building. So that's okay. exciting. We'll be doing, you know, some grand uh, grand opening ceremonies for that that all sort right. of thing. So look for some um, ribbon cuttings in 2022. Yeah, very yes. cool. We'll have some ribbon cuttings in 2022. By the way, if folks are looking, I you know now that you know we're coming up on a new year and people make New Year's resolutions and things like that. Um, uh, one idea I always find is a good resolution is people, you know want to get more involved in their community. And, and I always tell people if we just, you know, if everybody in this community just picked one thing that they're passionate about and supported it, um, if you're looking for that, the, the E&M, Eastern New Mexico University Roswell, uh, the foundation is a good one to support and help. They, um, you know, obviously there's probably the, their golf scramble they do every year is probably one of their more um, in the public kind of knowledgeable things. But uh, that foundation does an amazing job of providing opportunities for people. It's um, their big thing is is really raising money to uh, give students an opportunity to go to Eastern New Mexico University Roswell. That's why they have these golf scrambles and things like that to raise money for these scholarships and things. So if if you're looking for a great place to roll up your sleeves and help out the community, talk to the ENMU Foundation. Um, and see how, how you can serve there in various ways. Uh, who knows, maybe you end up on the board at some point. But, uh, but in the while, you know, they're always, I'm sure, looking for volunteers to help you know, reach out and raise money and uh, plan and um, execute the events and things to help uh, expose uh, students to more opportunities at Eastern. So uh, if you're looking for a good one to get involved with, reach out to ask about the foundation. Yes, and we do, as you mentioned, a lot of support. We do have people um, that are still uh, making contributions to existing scholarships or creating new ones, and uh, we have had some some good donations even now toward the end of the year that we're we're uh, pleased about and appreciative of. So, if you're interested in the foundation, it's uh, Craig Collins is our coordinator. He's at six two four seven three zero four, or you can also just look at the foundation page on the website yeah, as well. Yeah. Roswell.enmu.edu. Uh, of course, like and follow on Facebook as well. 
Um, I know um, that's a good one to stay, especially if you're a student, because I know, uh, of course, uh, Dr. Powell and various other folks uh, do uh, various um, little informative meetings and things that kind of keep you up to date on things happening at the campus or opportunities or special events. So uh, like and follow the Eastern New Mexico University Roswell Facebook page as well, too. Yeah. Plus, plus, if uh, oh. weather delays all that, it's a good one to get it, get that info pretty quick. So, Yes, exactly. We try and post some, some interesting things, fun things, and, and good information as well. So. Absolutely. Well, did we get it all? I think so. Awesome. I think we did. Well, man. We appreciate and- all your help this whole year, Mike, and we'll be Looking forward to more visits next year. Absolutely. We look forward to a bigger, brighter 2022. Hope you <laughs> and, and your family and friends all have an awesome holiday season here. And uh, and uh, I know you're anxiously waiting for Thursday to get here so you can spend your Christmas <laughs> with your family. <laughs> this is true. Yes. <laughs> well, you, you have a happy holidays as well. Thank you. You too. And we'll talk to you in 2022. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Mike. All right. Take care, Donna. Thank you as well. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. That was Donna Oracion with Eastern New Mexico University, Roswell. Again, roswell.enmu.edu is their website. Um, they got a lot of good things going on out there. Let, let yourself be a part of that and make your lives a little better, too.